Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet and we are still working on the same mission as last time, the October Fishbone Hook mission. We managed to get two out of the five pike that had to be greater than 20 pounds. Still got three more to get, but I will tell you this, I went back to the global map and changed my gear up in such a way that we're going to get this done hopefully a little faster. So I focused on getting bottom rods and heavy lure fishing rods as well as a heavy duty float rod. And we're going to come in here and start where we left off. Now before we start here I did advance time a little bit I want to tell you that. Um, looks like the peak time is a little bit different this time I know it's still sunny weather but instead of the peak being at the very middle it seems to be at the beginning of the morning between about 7 and 8 a.m. so we're gonna see if that improves things any so let's go ahead jump in here again now this is the all for the I think it's all for the pioneers or something like that peg it's kind of a strange name but we're gonna go ahead and get this set up here guys I have seriously like I said changed up my rods now I did get rid of the carp rod and put the cat boxer and that's the eight foot by six inch it's got 44 pound line on it and I'm gonna try a four dot to start with I could always upsize it I, I would say go four aught to six aught for these particular fish uh, the next two are heavy chasers. One's a 9 foot by 10 inch. That one's a 10 foot SE. It just means it has a little more heavy duty line ca capacity. And we're going to be mostly using shiners and um, large minnows. And last but not least on here I've got a bottom sniper. I don't have anything as heavy as the cat box or, or heavy chasers. This only goes to 35 pounds so I'm gonna have to be kind of careful if I get something really big on that one but at least it gives my chances a little bit more for getting the northern pike. It should handle a northern pike without any problem whatsoever. Uh, I'm also bringing the heaviest rod I have in case I decide to try to land on one of those beluga sturgeon and it they do go for certain lures. It just depends on how you present it. So I thought I might try some of them I haven't tried before. Like this uh, swim bait. Maybe they go for that. I don't know. It doesn't say in the, in, in the write-up. But I have seen those in Wilkes catfish go for lures many times. So, Alright, let's go ahead and get this started. Or get this going. I should say because we already got it started. Okay, I can't really tell you whether they went for the shiners more or for the large minnows. They seem to do fine with both. Now that one in the back, that was the unique I caught last time. And we are definitely going to be fishing from there too. That's like on the outer edge of the hole that's on the map. And again, we might get another beluga. Which means we'll have a fight on our hands, but I am going to get any beluga I catch in because they are worth a lot of XP. Just don't mess up and keep that son of a gun. Because you, <laughs> you will pay for it. Let's see, now I've got four bottom rods out. every one of them is being used now and I can take out something like my lure fishing rod or anything of that nature now this one I've got another swim bait on it's a little smaller doesn't matter I've already got a bite and it's decent sized this could be what we're after Yeah, I think we're going to do a lot better this time, guys. Shoot. I've got something big on that one, too. I 
I think we might have us a northern pike here. Just wait. Throwing a fit. Oh. <laughs> Another trophy, but he's still a little bit too small. Hmm. Ah. Looks like I lost him. Dang it. Well, I better get it in because if I don't, he may have taken my bait. Yeah, I also bought more shiners and large minnows. No, he didn't take my bait. That's good. It's just aggravating that they are trophy size and they still come under the required weight. <laughs> Alright guys, things are going way nuts here. It's like all of a sudden I was fishing off screen and I got three of them at the same time. I didn't have time to turn on the camera. The first one ended up being a unique. And I don't know what these guys are, but they are definitely all big. Somebody said you need to come here during partly cloudy days, and I think that is the key here. Let's see if we can't get this one in here at least. This is not the strongest rod, so I'm kind of going back and forth between these three. I got the first one in, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose this one now. He is not little either. I think he's... Shoot, I lost that one. Both of them very well could have been beluga sturgeon. If he breaks the water, then it's probably not a beluga. That might be a pike. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't think it's a pot. I don't think it's a beluga. I think it might be a blue uh, pike this time. Let's see here. Yep, it is a pike, and it's another unique. That's two that I've caught, guys. I wish you could have seen the earlier one, but I just caught him just a few seconds ago. About the same amount of weight, thirty-five pounds, four thousand cash. Yeah, I didn't get a squat for quite a while there, but I tell you, right about this time of day, it has been going nuts. Alright, I think I had this one in this rod. This one's probably lost its bait. Doesn't matter, I've got one off of this one now. I don't think I have a great big one this time. This is just probably either a regular size pike or a wells. No, it's a Xander. Beginning a lot of Xander, guys. A lot of Xander. Yep, he got my bait. Well, I got something else big here. And this is a fairly hefty rod, so if this is the... I can only hope it's another pike. I didn't expect to get them all so close together, though. It usually doesn't happen. Oh, come on. Yeah, this could be a beluga. I don't know. Yeah, beluga tend to fight with a kind of like a pulsing action. Just 
They're just so damn big. Now, when I'm close to the reeds like that, I don't usually get the beluga, but I usually get them out in the deep holes, but that doesn't mean I still won't get one. He's not breaking the surface as much. Oh, come on, fish. And beluga, though, you also will make a lot of headway, and then they'll just take it right on out like it was nothing. <sighs> Good lord. It's frustrating to make a lot of progress like that and then have them. Yeah, it's a beluga. Dang on it. Gotta release him. And I caught him right there, which is not very normal. Usually I don't catch him that close to shore. Okay, that looked kind of weird. You put that one there. Let's put this one over here. Get the second rod out. We just need one more, guys. One more fish. Come on. Okay, we got him. I don't know that it's what we're after, but he's not really putting that much of a fight. Yep, I think it's a Wells. It is. See his flat little head. Trophy Wells at 39 pounds. Yeah, when I was off screen, I finally caught a unique Wells. And he was a monster at 103 pounds. I'll show you show him to you in a little bit here, but Okay, we got a fighter here. But he's also pulsing, which leads me to believe he's a beluga. Yeah, beluga and arapaima fight in a similar fashion. <clears throat> Arapaima, sorry. Good God, he is really taking it for a run.
Good God, come on, you dumb fish. There he goes again. And we've got another one. I need to get this one in. I don't want to waste more bait. Ye Holy crap, check it out. That I didn't expect. That's the second one I've gotten. Yet another one, guys. That's how big they come. That's not as big as they come, but that's pretty darn close. Jeez. That's two in one night. All right. Ah, he got off the... He got off the hook. Dang on it. So unique whales. Whales over here. I have not gotten the unique whales over here. Let's see here. Let me take a look at this real quick. Yep, there he is. I got him at night, so it didn't count on this this time. But I got him a trophy wells and two uniques of the northern pikes, and lots of trophies, but none of them over 20 pounds, <laughs> which is part of the problem. We need one more. We need one more extra large trophy or unique. And I can see getting the trophy actually easier than the other. At least you would think. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me go ahead and throw that back down. I wanted to put this one out too. Which I think I'm going to change that. Put large minnows on there. This is a little misleading because this is a ladder rod, so this could be a regular sized fish. Yeah, and I think it is. Coming in a little too easy. Probably a catfish. Not breaking the water. Yep. You can kind of tell just by the way they fight what you're dealing with. All right, there's another one. Okay, he's got a little more heft to him, maybe. Maybe not. Well, he's definitely not a catfish. He keeps breaking the water, so... Probably a normal sized or a smaller of the trophy variety. Yep, normal size, 7 pounds.
Well, there we go. Whatever this is got some size to it. But it could also be an asp. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. No, I think it's an asp. Yep, it's a trophy asp. Nice looking fish. 14 pounder. They like the slimy cranks, apparently. Well, let's see if we got something. No. Well, I'm putting this one down and grabbing this one. I'm not losing. Okay, now this one's got some size, more size to him. Maybe not enough, though. But he's definitely on pike. Shoot. This may be a pike, too. That's not the biggest what I need. Damn. Up oh, there's something. see what it is. It might be just another asp, but if it's the pike, it's a good size one. No, it's an asp. Unique asp. Jeez. I am getting the uniques today, guys. Holy crap. That's a big one. Let's see how big this guy is. Yeah. That's a nice fish. I tell you, there's no, no problem getting my money back. That's for darn sure. Wait a minute. Let me actually get a picture of him because it's. I may not be getting the fish I want, but I'm definitely getting some fish. So they really like the slimy crank. That's interesting. Would have never thought. Yeah, I'd have thought I've been getting pike with this too, but I was getting the pike over at the um, at the dock location, not really here. So maybe this is just their. Damn! There we go again. See if it's another one. It's not a unique, but... Yeah, it is another asp. They are really after that. It's another trophy. Alright, we've got something decent size. It is the next day, guys. I Went ahead in advance time to the peak on the next day because we already passed the peak here. I don't know. It looked promising at first, but I'm not so sure now. Yeah, it's catfish. Trophy Wells. Okay, 
Take two bites at once. Let's see how big this guy is. He's big. At least he's coming across that way. Substantial enough to be worth bringing in. And he is some kind of pike. Not big enough. Damn. And of course, this one gets off. <laughs> yeah. Figures. Gets off the last darn minute. I almost had it picked up. We're definitely getting them right out there. Alright, let's see what we got on this one. Okay, is he big or is he just play acting? He might be of a decent size. He might also be a sturgeon, too. Not. I don't know. Come on, big fella. Let's see what you are. Well, you're definitely a fighter, I'll give you that. You even think about it. Cool. Yeah, he's definitely a pike. Okay, cool. And that's him. There's a unique guys, and he is a personal record of all things. Let's take a look at this fella. Yeah, there he is. The last one. Man, this was not an easy mission not easy at all took me a couple of days of time actually to get this completed but we got him that was the last one and we got and we got the mission accomplished Octuba fishbone hook great work you got the fishbone hook we are now ready to hunt for the leviathan sturgeon now he'll probably be found over here but that is it. So, I guess we got to go ahead and do what we need to do. But guys, I'm going to end this episode here because we have been at this for a while. I'm going to go after that next fish, but I don't know how long it's going to take or what's involved. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in and get ready for that. But anyway, guys... I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with the last episode of these this fishy monster mission. But until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.